Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you through two Django functions to help you add some restrictions to your Django admin site. Now, when setting up your Django admin site, you may want to limit what actions certain users can perform and using groups in Django is a great way of doing that. But if you want users to only be able to view content or records that they've created, then simply creating a group won't be enough. So today I'll take you through exactly how you can go about achieving that in Django using two functions. Uh, taking a look at my models here, uh, I've got one model called post and each post basically has a foreign key which is the user and it has a title and a description. And now if I go into my admin site here, basically the logged in user can go ahead and create a post. But what we want to do is that we want to limit the options here under user so that it only shows uh, the user's name or the logged in user in this case. So I'm logged in as Joey. So if I want to post in this case, I should uh, just see Joey popping up. And also when I do create a post, for example, let me create one here. Say test title, test description. So if I go ahead and save, as you can see, uh, Jane's post is appearing here, but I'm logged in as Joey. I don't want that. So I only want posts that I've created uh, to be uh, popping up here. So the first thing I want to do, uh, I want to customize how this appears. So I want the post to uh, appear here along with the post title and description. So to do that, I'll just head back to my code and then under admin. Then I'll first go ahead and create my model admin. So I'll first create a class here. I'll call it post admin. And then I'll call admin dot model admin. And then the order in which I want my content to be displayed, I'll call list display. So I'll want the post ID and then I'll also want the user. In this case, it will return the username. And then I also want the title. Oh, sorry, it will return the first name, I think. And then I also want the title. And I think we can live out the description. In terms of ordering, I want my content to be ordered according to the ID. So here on my admin.site.register, I'll just pass post admin. And then if I head back to my admin panel, uh, that should uh, update the view. So I've got my ID, my user, my title. And next thing, let me go ahead and create multiple posts for different users. So I'll create one for Dwayne, let's say Dwayne's title, Dwayne's uh, post description. And then I'll go ahead and save that. Then I'll just do the same for the other users in my uh, application. So after Dwayne, I've got John already, I've got Jane already, I'll create John's. Click save, and then we'll also need Lorraine's. So there we go, I've got four posts here. And it's important in this case to note that each user uh, should be a staff user, but none of these users that I have here are super users. So obviously the super user will have uh, complete access to our application, uh, but these uh, four uh, only have staff status. So next thing, let me go ahead and log out here and then I'll log in as one of the other users. So let me say John. And there we go. So it says you don't have permission to view or edit anything. So let me first create a group for all of these actually. So now uh, let's go ahead and create a group. And then we'll say, um, 
bloggers, we'll call our group bloggers. And then for our bloggers, what they can do is, let's see. So they can add a post, they can change a post, they can delete a post and they can view a post. So let me give them those permissions and then I'll click save. And then just head back to all my users. So I'll add all the users to the bloggers group. And then click save, do the same for Jane. Click save, and then John as well. And lastly, Lorraine as well. There we go. So let me go log out again, log in. Uh, let's try one more time, log in as John. Okay, so now I have post, but what's happening here, I'm logged in as John, but I can still see everyone's uh, uh, posts here. So firstly, if you head over to the Django admin site, we'll need to call uh, this query set here. So this query set method here, basically returns all instances of our uh, post. So all the records here is being returned by this get query set. So to override this, we'll just need to let's copy uh, this function. And then this will go into our post admin here that we just created. So we'll say get query set. So here on this if statement, we're checking if the user that signed in is a super user. What happens then, it just returns all the uh, instances that we have for our post. But then what we want to do is that we want to return results for the signed in user. So to do that, we'll say user. So we'll fit, filter our query set for the user's post. So we'll just change that. We'll say user equals to request dot user. So now if we reload, as you can see, we just have John's title, I mean, John's post being displayed there, but we still have the issue if I go to add a post, then this user still has the ability to add a post for a particular user. But I can go ahead here and add a post for someone, let's say Jane, uh, I'm logged in as John, so say Jane's second title. then Jane's second description. Then if I click save, it won't appear, but as you can see, I still have the ability to add someone's post. So to fix that, we just go back to Django admin again. And what we need now here is this to is this method here called form field for foreign key is the method that we have to override. So we can just go ahead and copy all of that. And then the only edit we need to make here is the field that we're looking for. So we're looking for user field. So in this case, we can change car to user and then we'll filter. And then here we'll do our filter. So from the users that are being returned in our drop down. So in this drop down here, we'll just say user, which is the uh, object, I mean, the class that we're referring to is user objects.filter and the user name. Then we'll just filter the username needs to match the signed in user. So we'll just need to import user as well here. So if I go back to my models, I'll just copy this line and edit there as well. So now if I just reload my admin panel here, if I click join, as you can see, I only have that one option selected and I can log out here Let's log in at someone again. Let's say Jane. And if I go to posts, then I have the two uh, posts for Jane, which is uh, this test title and Jane's second title. And I can go ahead and try and add another title. I'm in another post and I'll only have the option to add Jane's post only. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.